we've all had situations where we've had a cognitive habit of thinking about something, and it maybe served us at one time, and then for whatever reason, it, it's just no longer helpful to keep thinking about that topic, right? So maybe the wonderful people who planned this wonderful event have had to spend months of living, sleeping, and breathing the planning process for this event, and then as soon as the event is over, they almost find themselves with like phantom thoughts, you know, thinking about the event, the conference room, and they're like, oh, wait a minute, I really don't need to think about that anymore. But our brains love to be efficient. And so once they get a habit, they'll just keep beating that drum. Now, when you find yourself in that moment where you're doing what psychologists call ruminating or thinking about a dead end topic, what I don't want you to do is beat yourself up for it or try to tell yourself to not think about it. Because that's like saying don't think about pink elephants, right? The first thing that happens is you start thinking about pink elephants. What we would do instead with our new mental shortlist is we would come up with five things that we know are going to be better uses of our mental energy. Now your mental shortlist could include anything from birthday and holiday shopping, writing thank you notes to certain employees, browsing websites of competitors, you know, really anything. Maybe doing your three-part breath, <laughs> practicing that mindfulness exercise, whatever it is. But again, like all of these things, it's important to write it down. Because if you wait until that moment when you're seized with the, the topic that you don't want to think about, you have that mental laser vision, and it actually becomes very difficult to think of other things. I kind of compare it to the way that if you have a fridge full of really tasty, healthy snacks at home, it's much easier to avoid junk food binges than if you just sit there with nothing but junk food and leave it on yourself when you have that moment of munchiness to suddenly think of and create some delicious, healthy snack. It's much easier if you do the admin work first of making some good, healthy snacks for yourself. And then when you feel munchy, you've got them ready for you. The same thing is true with the mental shortlist. If you know that there are certain topics that tend to pull you, and honestly, it could be anything from an old relationship or you know, work stuff, it could be anything, then you take the trouble in advance to come up with five topics. A variation for this, for social anxiety, just in case anybody knows any campers or counselors that deal with social anxiety or maybe even yourself, and then you think about you're your going to some event or it's like the, the first night get to know you situation for the campers, and then they have this problem where their mind goes blank or all they can think about is some socially anxious thoughts. What they would do in advance for their mental shortlist is come up with, say, five small talk topics so that they have something, those good mental snacks, so to speak, that they've prepared for themselves. It could be anything from, have you been to camp before? What, what, what were your experiences like? Gee, this location is amazing. Have you seen the such and such falls here? Or something that's happening in the news? Or it could be something seasonal, like, oh, you know, 4th of July is happening or holidays are happening. But again, you think about them in advance and you list them for yourself so that you're not just sitting there scrambling in the moment, trying to figure them out as you go along.